whoa guys i just figured out something on the fuji film that i had no idea was there it's really awesome feature and i can't wait to show you guys how to do this that is taking multi-exposure photos now if you don't know what that is really quick just to sum it up it's basically getting two images blending them together into one photo and it's just really awesome to have that built in to the camera because i know some have to do like the bulb mode, set the camera, the shutter into bulb mode to be able to do the multi exposure. But instead of having to deal with that mess, you could just take two pictures and blend them together. That's really neat. So first I'm going to do is going to show you how to set up your camera so you could have a function key or a quick access to get into multi exposure. And then I'm going to show you some samples on how to get this going. All right, guys, so now that we're in our camera and uh, let's head over to our menu. So open up the menu. Now, the quickest and easiest way to do this, go over to your settings tab up here in the little wrench, head over to button dial settings and head down to function FN setting. This is where we could assign different shortcuts for our FN keys. Now you want to scroll down to the AF on button which is in the back of the camera and towards the end here we go so this is the af dedicated autofocus back button now we could assign it to anything else now typically when i'm shooting mainly videos i'll have this shortcut for slow motion videos so i could quickly jump into slow motion but when we're in stills we could assign it to whatever we want and today we're going to be assigning multi exposure so in order to get multi exposure on, we hit our shortcut key that we just assigned. And there we go. We are in multi exposure on. Now, one little thing to keep in mind before we get going is, as you notice, we actually lost peaking. So we can't use our focus assist peaking, but we still have the crop to zoom and make sure we're in focus. So we still have that. All right, guys. So the first image we take is going to be the bottom layer. And then the second photo we take is going to be the top on the top. So, so the bottom layer here, I'm going to make it our camera here. So let me make sure we're focused there. Uh, get this filter out of the way. Bam, we got our first image and now it's going to tell us hit OK, the menu OK button to go to your next second shot. Or you could actually retry, refocus and just try again. Really nice. So let's hit OK. And look at that. You could actually see our first image is right there. And what am I going to do to double expose? Why don't we give it like this really cool lighting or everything blur out? Let's just blur everything out. And it's going to make it a nice kind of like 3D effect. Bam. So that's our shot. That's how we get multi exposure and we just hit OK and the image should be saved. Here we go. That's it. That's the photo we got. Now, why would you want to try multi exposure to get creative? If you are bored, I could say, I don't know. Why would you be bored with Fujifilm colors and film simulations? We got recipes galore. If you want to explore your creative side, multi exposure is a good way to get really funky with your images, having a face all of a sudden behind a wall or a window, something like that. You could get very creative with things like that. Right now I'm not in the streets, so we're gonna have to wait till I get outside to get more sample photos. But for now, here's what I could get inside the home. I'm sorry guys, I know it's not much. Now the sample images I took were not great at all, not creative whatsoever. It is obvious I need a lot of work with multi exposure. But I am up to the challenge. I can't wait to keep trying it some more. And so if you want to see 
my results head over to instagram i i'm always there weekly almost daily posting images that i take with my fujifilm which most by the way are straight out of camera jpegs now sometimes i do tweak the brightness or the contrast but overall straight out of the camera now i don't know which cameras in particular have this multi-exposure feature um, i'm shooting with the fujifilm xh1 so you might want to go ahead and check out your menu and see if you have that available and if you do try it out it's a lot of fun to get creative and you know it never seems to amaze me how fujifilm has these little things these little features you know that are built in the camera and that's what makes them so much uh such great cameras for pr when you compare the price performance ratio you know we got built-in time lapse i got dci video cinematic aspect ratio with a dci 17 by 9 we got true 148th of a second so a lot of things that even my tally lamp that i know i'm recording so fujifilm is really awesome and it just again today on the steel side i was surprised with another neat feature that i didn't know about now if you have any comment you could leave it in the comment section down below any questions as well i'll try to get back to everyone that comments because i really appreciate the support and speaking of support you can support the channel by liking the, this video if you did find it helpful enjoyable if you didn't know about this let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any other questions, any comments, I'd love to hear them. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And also follow me on Instagram because I will be posting images while I do post there regularly, almost daily. And you will find some great Fujifilm straight out of camera images. Yeah, hopefully with each other's support, we can continue to grow this Fujifilm community and also share our art. So thanks again for joining. See you guys on the next one. Peace.